Seven generations have farmed the land in Woolwich Township, which is home to Martin's Family Fruit Farm, now one of the largest apple growers, packers, and shippers in Canada. While the business has blossomed with innovation and expansion in the past decade, each one of the orchard's millions of apples are still picked carefully by hand, and locals continue to buy apples in the on-site orchard market. With the help of up to 300 employees, the Martins still run the family business, and they do so according to their core values, which support their mission of growing for healthy communities. Over the years, uh, we've shipped some to India, probably being the farthest location. We've done a lot in recent years to Cuba. Um, over the years is Mexico, England. Um, we've done some more recently to Israel, into the Caribbean. So we've exported apples around the world, um, but by far the majority um, are, are sold right in our backyard, which is fantastic. A key part of our business as well is, is we, although we grow um, a lot of our apples and a good percentage of them. We also would work and partner with other growers um, in Ontario. All told, about 55 million pounds of apples in a year that we would uh, run through our facility. Up to 275, um, 300 people at, at its peak. Um, obviously that, that fluctuates a bit through the year and harvest happens basically for an eight, 10 week window. So it drops significantly when harvest is done. Yeah, so I, I've been involved with Martin since uh, my life. I grew up here, second generation in the Apple part of the business and actively involved since, uh, since 1999. And what's really cool now is some of the next generations also starting to get in the business. So there's three, four, five people of the next generation that have gone on, got varying degrees in, in some business and, and they're applying some of their skills and getting into the business as well. Um, so that, that's really exciting. It's a it's family business in its roots. My father, Leighton, got us into the apples in, in the first place. He got us down this path and we're appreciative of that for sure. And, and he's still involved. Um, he's uh, in the orchard side of the business. So a lot of our orchard is actually down in uh, Lake Erie in Port Burwell, Vienna area. I do like the, the fact though now that I feel like the Martin family has extended beyond people that have the Martin name. Uh, we really like to think of as our, our business and anyone that comes in and is part of our organization that hopefully becomes part of our family. Um, I often say that we are a family business, but we just, we happen to be owned by family. Big questions that gets asked is like, how do you pick your apples, right? Do, they don't all get picked by hand, do they? And, and the answer is yes, they do. They are all picked by hand, which is pretty cool in today's world of everything's automated. It takes attention, love and detail. It's another opportunity for it to live out another value for us, passion. I mean, if you're doing this business, you, you have to be passionate about it. It takes a lot of effort. The key part of apples is, is the ability to store. One of the beauties of apples is they store really well through controlled atmosphere. And so it's really, it's taking the oxygen um, out of the rooms and bringing it down from 18%, which is normal, down to less than 2%. So it really stops that ripening process until we unseal the rooms. One of the first cool things uh, is uh, it's really simple and there's water and we get those apples out of the, the bins through, through water and it's not so much to wash the apples, but apples float and so it's a really gentle way to get those apples out of the bins. So then we take it through a, a thorough washing process and then they're sized um, through electronically sized, electronically graded um, for color, for defects. And then moving down the pack line and putting it in the particular packages for our various customers um, and shipping it off so that it's a ready to eat product when it's getting out to our, our retailers. One of the beauties with apples is it has multi-purposes, right? And so this, is, this has always been the case, right? Whether it's a juice or sauce or, and best of all, obviously fresh eating. There's, there's been recent uh, recent push in, in society, which is great, and just minimizing food waste, uh, which is fantastic. We've always had very limited waste with apples because our, our less than perfect ones 
have other homes with juice and sauce and apple pies, whatever it might be. Over the course of the year, there might be 25% um, of the apples that don't make that premium grade um, that people expect. So, so that other 25% then might get used for apple chips. So it's a really good apple, it just might not have enough color, and so it makes a fantastic apple chip. Our purpose in our company is, is growing for healthy community. We want to be in our community, and so we don't want to be this place and this farm that is uh, that you can only buy our apples at major retail. The Orchard Market is going to be all about apples, and we just want people to come there to experience the best possible apples and learn about apples and, and really informative and really having a positive experience with, with the Martin brand. So even though it isn't a major uh, sales channel for us, it's still important. My favorite apple, I mean, it, it's the Ambrosia. It's a relatively new apple. It's cool that it originates in Canada. It's crunchy, it's sweet, and if you get it harvested right and stored right, it's gonna be that same eating experience time in and time out.